No. The as word is no. You don't need to speak Spanish or even some little bit of Spanish if you want to visit Mexico. Just for visit as a tourist. Okay? So, end of the video. <laughs> no. Uh, let me tell you, if you want to relocate to Mexico, yes, you will need to improve your Spanish. If you don't know a word on Spanish, you are in disadvantage of another Americans or Canadians or other people around the world who wants to relocate here in Mexico, specifically here in Puerto Vallarta. But let me tell you what's going on with the places, very touristy, touristy places like Puerto Vallarta. But before, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate all notifications, get the latest news here in Puerto Vallarta and on Nayarit. Also remember, follow me on my social networks. There is more content over there, okay? And if you want to support, to support me, become a sponsor. Thank you very much. Well, if you are visiting here, Puerto Vallarta, for one week, everything is going to be very nice, very easy for you, even if you don't speak any word of Spanish. Hola, amigo, gracias, de nada, la cuenta, something like that is like very easy to pronounce and to learn in Spanish. But what about if you need directions for get to the bank or for get to the, um, I don't know, to the embassy? Uh, can you tell me where is located the embassy here in Puerto Vallarta? Claro que sí, amigo. Mira, vas a tomar un camión que te va a, ir a, te va a llevar a Nuevo Vallarta. Esa uh, embajada está en Nuevo Vallarta, ¿ok? Está en el Centro Internacional de Convenciones de Nuevo Vallarta. Entonces, vas a tomar el camión que es el Medina. Do you understand all this that I just said? It? It's going to be difficult for you if you want to relocate without some help, okay? If you need help to relocate it, uh, find where to rent, where to buy, uh, get around here in Puerto Vallarta, explore Puerto Vallarta, you can hire me. Just go to my website, puertovallarta3.com, and you can book the tour to get to know of Puerto Vallarta, okay? Well... Uh, it's going to be difficult if you don't have any kind of um, help to do your relocation here in Puerto Vallarta. So my suggest here, uh, when you're here in Puerto Vallarta and you want to rent long term and you are on a budget, so you don't want to stay on the big condos or the nicest gated community, you will be more on the popular neighborhoods you need to learn Spanish more than hola amigo, como estas, no gracias, or donde está el baño. <laughs> and remember, take some paper towel to go to the bathroom. There is no, no paper on the bathrooms here in Mexico. So uh, you need to learn your Spanish, okay? If you want to stay here or if you want to live here. A lot of people asking me, Oscar, I need uh, like a nice restaurant. I want to stay in very authentic uh, town here or, or area here in Puerto Vallarta. I want to, uh, I don't know, experience the Mexican culture. Uh, and sometimes you don't have any idea or, or what's going on with that experience or how it's, how it's going to be the experience. If you do by yourself, of course. When people asking me to explore Puerto Vallarta, get to know Puerto Vallarta, it's with me in my car, very comfortable in the car with air conditioning. And I take the places, I will go for tacos, we go for Mexican restaurants. And obviously they are with me. And I always uh, tell, tell my customers all oh, what, what to do, what not to do. People asking me how to tip here, uh, because it's not the same to tip on like uh, street food tacos than in a nice restaurant in Puerto Vallarta. It's not the same. So it's, it's, it's kind of difficult um, if you're going to stay here and explore by yourself. Uh, if you don't have any word of Spanish, you need to improve more your Spanish if you want to relocate here in Mexico. As a tourist for a few days, you don't need to worry in the hotels. Uh, Everybody in the hotels, almost everybody of the people who is in front, uh, like in the front desk or in the bar or in the restaurants, they speak English. Uh, 
like enough to communicate with you. But if you want to talk about more to buy, to rent, like um, the culture of Puerto Vallarta, this history of Puerto Vallarta, you need uh, someone specialized like a local guide or real estate agent or a real estate um, or, or, or rental agent, okay? So yes, you will need, but, but those people are more, um, they have more skills with the two language, with the Spanish and the uh, English, and a lot of uh, realtors or rental agents are Americans. They are working here, they're already here, living here in Puerto Rico, so they can share your uh, or their experience with you about uh, how is to live here. But if you want like the real thing, like how is the popular, uh, neighborhoods here in Puerto Vallarta, you can have this experience with Americans living in those nice condos. You need people from here like me. That's That makes sense for you or not. Why? Because we live here, uh, we are not in the nice areas and we know how to move, how to live in a budget. Or if you want like to stay, uh, like I don't want to spend more than this in, in renting uh, and I need the skills to uh, where to buy my groceries, uh, where to do, what not to do, where, where to, where, where is the best beach near of my place, or where to take the bus. Okay. Normally, people who is living here, relocated here, uh, I will say ninety nine percent are in the nice condos. Obviously, is rich people. But if you are in a budget, if you want to live out there in the normal street, the experience will be totally different. It's not bad. I have another video explaining that. Check here or here, and you will know what I'm talking about. But you will need for sure to um, improve your Spanish, tu español. Necesitas hablar español para poder vivir aquí en Puerto Vallarta de una forma mejor. If you understand that, you are good to go. You don't need me. You are Okay, here living in Puerto Vallarta. Okay, if not, give me an email if you need information or help to relocate here in Puerto Vallarta. I'm going to be your friend, your your friend here, your tu primer amigo, your first amigo. Okay. <laughs> so yes, if you want to relocate here, you need Spanish. If you just visit a few days, you don't need uh, any kind of Spanish. Okay. So that's all for now, my friends. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, activate the notification, share the video, and comment. Uh, I want to know your thoughts about this video. See you the next time. Bye-bye.